Welcome to Post Smash vs. St. Peter's. This is week 7 of ECAC, uh, and my name is Frisco, and we're going to get right into it. Uh, I'm pretty sure SBK must <laughs> be St. Peter's, uh, assumedly. I've never seen that tag before. How's everybody doing today? Now, it looks like, again, as per usual, we are getting a start from BK. Samus is a, an incredibly strong starter character in a lot of these crews. Um, just a very overall, like, well-rounded... Are you serious? Are we getting... Is this like a, uh, maybe this might be a lag test. I cannot imagine BK is playing Hero or, uh, Byleth. Who's, who is who? Ready? 
APK is Byleth. This might be a button check, to be honest. <laughs> Anybody have the intel on whether or not this bio is a thing? Oh, this is definitely a button check. Okay. Still, he might bring the Byleth, which would be very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen BK play a character besides Samus. So we're gonna see, though. We will see, we will see. Now, I actually, it is kind of interesting if we do see Hero uh, from... Ready? Don't tell me we are. We're not getting Byleth, are we? Yeah, we're definitely not getting Byleth. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, we're definitely getting, it seems like we're definitely getting the Hero matchup, though. Now, Hero as a character, um, I mean, over the over the years, ever since Hero was released, there's always been a lot of conversation around... Uh, hero's moveset and like the general quote unquote randomness of it. Um, he's a, if you think about it, he's a kind of a strong zoner in a lot of ways. He's just not consistent. Um, a lot of his projectiles are stronger than normal. It's just, is he going to pull the, the deck of cards essentially that he wants to actually throw out? Um, so th we will see that this is essentially going to be like a game of zoning. I think the Samus will have advantage here because Samus has the, uh, a very consistent kit where, um, the most consistent thing out of uh, Hero is going to be Neutral B and Side B, but, which both of which are incredibly strong tools. But we're going to see if, uh, you know, it's, Samus is going to be able to play the longer range than uh, Hero, just in general. So let's see if this Hero can actually break BK's range, which it seems like he's actually doing a decent job of it right now. BK at 68%, 16 on Hero. Yeah, F Smash was a little... A little soon. Gonna get the grab though, gonna go off stage. Hoping to grab the drop zone for the low recovery, but is but this uh hero is gonna recover high. That is something for uh BK to remember in the future that there could be a high recovery. Yep. So that's the second time we've had a high recovery, so BK can definitely take advantage of that if he's paying attention. Zooming off stage. Recover low, good recovery for BK. Now Offstage interaction again. Let's see if BK reads the jump. There is no jump, but an air dodge in, which is... No way! Critical hit is going to send BK off stage. First stock goes to St. Peter. Only 77% on hero. BK needs a bit more damage to get this hero down and a little bit more uh, defiantly. Down throw into up airs. Mm, interesting strength. Okay, trying to get the empty hop in, but that's going to get bit B red. Oh no, sleep, and then another crit. Nope, but it's still enough to kill, putting BK down to their last stock. Mm, good nair for the cross-up, but not able to get something off of it. Reading the roll and getting the grab in. Wow, going for the cheeky uh, doom right there. Thwack, rather. Thwack, thwack and whack. Fair, 122. Low recovery. Shield pressure, going right around that F-Smash. Getting the bomb, not able to get a follow-up off of it, though. Oh, trying to read the double roll, but not able to. Up, no, back throw. Up throw, yeah, okay. Up throw wasn't quite enough to kill. This is looking mighty tough for BK, but BK really needs to take the stock now in order to make any headway, additionally. Though there is no mana, well, very little mana on Hero right now. Back air. Oh, going for the sizzle, but able to jump right over that. 64% on BK. Stalling out for a bit of a solid recovery. Zoom. 180% on hero. This is looking so tough. I think BK at ledge against this character needs to go for a few more grabs. They definitely love get up shield. Which is a very exploitable option. You can definitely get, exploit that a little bit more. Oh no. F-Smash crit. Yep. 
And yep, wow, 3-0, uh, putting Eagles down to six. And St. Peter's, St. Peter's keeps their nine. Now, Post has been on a three-game winning streak. Uh, they'd be PCS, Tiffin, and Concordia, and right now they are 4-2 in the season. Um, now, what we talked about last time was that last week Post only needed two more wins. They got one of them last week, so now that puts Post at 4-2, and winning tonight would guarantee them a playoff spot. Um, you know, and they would potentially finish off the season at 6-2. Now, if they can get, you know, that seeding of 6-2, which would be a win this week, and then uh, a win after, that would be an, a very good seeding, 6-2. Uh, Granted, it's not a perfect seeding, but, you know, that, and to get a perfect seeding is so hard. Um, now, but this is kind of a slow start for Post right now. Uh, already three stocks behind, but you still have some heavy set characters that are coming in. A lot of this is really a matter of, can you break Hero Zone? A lot of this, you have to remember though, a lot of this hero play comes with patience. A lot of the big stuff that comes off of hero is not command, is not grab based. So, if you need to run up shield, run up shielding is very strong against hero in my opinion. Because if he decides to throw something on menu, your shield will block the majority of his hits. Unless you are right up on him where he throws out hatchet man, which is a slow startup anyway. You, you know, you typically want to take your time and sh you shield quite a bit. His mobility isn't gr that great unless he's using Accelerottle. Um, and those are the kind of the opportunities in which, you know, Hero's mobility can't really come in and grab on you. So you just generally want to run up and shield a lot and then break his zone with that. Because if you're at a distance like this right now, uh, you can't, if you're a zone, you can make it work. But a lot of his, like, air, his, a lot of his projectiles are so quick that it's just so hard to, you know, when you're zoning, to, like counteract that right now we're already seeing 69 percent on kenny dash attack Ooh, nice c4 gonna hit again no he kept his jump down smash is not gonna get punished though we're seeing a lot of panic options coming out of kenny right now 85 percent back off stage and this is gonna be a big thing especially against snake is going to be um the reflect is the reflect right now nice running away to get rid of that bang back throw Yep. Now, Kenny has to rely so uh, Well, whenever Reflect is up, Kenny needs to rely solely on his boxing move, which Snake can very well do. Um, Snake has very great boxing skills. Kenny does draw first blood, but he's at 118. Snake can live for a long time, but he has to be very careful about where he decides to shield. Dash attack and throw him right back off stage. Going for the back hit for the high recovery. Weak hit of fair. I would have been that would have been crazy if that actually uh, spiked. I don't know if I've seen a snake kind of do that as an approach back on the stage. Dash attack and just cross up. Interesting read. Oh no way! Oh, 140. Okay, I forgot. I forgot he was such a high percent. <laughs> no, Kenny's down to a second stock. Only 46% on Hero right now. And with Bounce Up, there's not a whole lot Kenny should do. Kenny can CQC, but you might as well just wait for Bounce to just kind of leave, to be honest. And wait for your opportunity after that. Because it's... Oh my god! <gasps> no way! He got the shield break! I don't know if I've ever seen Kenny get a shield break. That's awesome. That is so cool. Only 28% on Kenny. This is right for Kenny to take the stock back. Reducing that three stock lead to just a one stock lead would be amazing. Oh my god, but bang, 63%. Well, rather, kaboom. <laughs> dare for the... Not even to get the follow-up, though, on another dare. F-tilt, send him right back off stage. 49% on Hero, 63 on Kenny, though. Good C4. Oh, air dodge! Can he make it back? No, he can't make it back, can he? Oh my god, these, C these ciphers are coming in so clutch. And Kenny gets it! Wow! Expert gimping coming out of Kenny. That was so good. Wow. See, that was the thing, though. We saw that the hero really liked to utilize his jumps in some kind of, like, early situations uh, in, you know, in BK's game. Now, Kenny definitely utilized it by burning off his jump, and that leaves only the use of mana and the up B. The only other thing I could have think of for him to recover was if he actually decided to fish for Zoom. 
um, where then he would get returned to generally a middle stage. But sans that, he needed to rely on that charging that up B, which gave gave Kenny ample time to like hit him with Nikita. So strong stuff coming out of Snake, coming out of Kenny right now, putting Post down to five stocks and reducing that three stock lead for St. Peter's down to a one stock lead, six. You know, we're turning it around. Toad should be in this game. Well, he is. I guess he's the counter, but he's Peach's counter. But Toad would be a cool character in Smash. I'd like to see Toad. So, for the stage list right now, uh, I mean, we talk about this a lot with Kenny. I, f I personally feel like Snake does a little worse on flat stages. He can make them work, but generally Snake likes a dual plat. He can make a tri-plat work depending on the kind of matchup he's working in. Um, but, you know, I, I think Snake does good with a double plat. Though, I know Kenny really opts for a lot of these, a lot of FD and a lot of uh, single plat when it comes to Smash and Hollow Bastion. And right now, we are getting Kenny versus a Byleth. Now, I think Byleth has some really interesting interactions with Snake, where when Snake decides to recover high, Byleth can up B and interact with him. It makes this a very interesting thing, way, like game where other sword fighters don't have that ability against Snake. So, Byleth definitely has some things going against Snake, but he's still a swordy, and I think that Snake, you know, he's just such a strong zoner. I think he does very well against a lot of characters, including swordies, um, even for the benefits Byleth does have. As a lot, and with Byleth's mobility, it can be a bit tough sometimes to get around some of these grenades and Snake's turn to play. So as long as Kenny keeps doing what he's doing right now and kind of hugging up these platforms, kind of keeping above, avoiding up B whenever he can, he's gonna. We will find that Byleth has a tough time in kind of breaking Snake's bubble. There. Oh, the read! That's the that's the first time he got it this season. I'm pretty sure Kenny gets those F smashes so much. The read on the spot dodge is so good. It's such an early kill. The lead is gone. The lead for St. Peter's is gone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kenny working these stocks. Still a little behind a percent. 57% versus Byla's 35. Going for it again. I'm, I'm Kenny. <laughs> oh my god. So good. So good. Oh, but returning F Smash in kind, and that Tipper is going to kill Snake. Tipper F Smash on Violet is so strong. Not able to get the follow up with the back air from that grenade. Up Smash. Reading the roll in with C4. So smart, so smart, so smart. Up Smash. Not able to get the follow up on that, though. He's dropping C4 to cover his landing again. 104 on Violet. Violet's kind of heavy. Uh, up Tilt needs a little bit more to kill. No, these, uh, these up. The F Smashes are too committal at this point. You only have one stock left. You need to take both of these stocks, Kenny. I like how sometimes I just talk to Kenny like, actually, like he can actually hear me. Nikita trying to get the edge guard. I mean, the ledge... The ledge... Ledge guarding. I'm not able to do it. Very good Nikita to cover the up B return to stage. R jumping right over Nair. Down tilt to get good shield pressure. Grenade follow up into Nair. Really strong. Byleth in the corner. It's going to be very tough. Punishing Nair with grenade. 76%. Is this right for Kenny to take the stock and the, and the lead for post? 91%. Only 57. Now a cheeky F smash uh, tipper from Byleth will kill. And we did see that earlier. Wow, the follow up into up smash. It's actually, it's actually funny. You don't see the full up smash like connection for Snake, like that initial hit going into the actual projectile. Most of the time, people just use it for the projectile hit. Good shield. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot Kenny could have done. He could have probably grabbed and then immediately thrown the grab out to avoid the grenade blast. Down throw. You see, I th I'm pretty sure he could have down thrown into F-Tilt, and that would have been true. Though, stage control like that is also great, too. Nair, 65% on stage. Oh, that was risky. Okay, down tilt. Gonna pop him up. 146 on Byleth. Oh, that was so risky, dude. <laughs> if he 
Dude, if he let go of that a second earlier, the armor would have killed Kenny. Uh, but that, we're going to take it with Nikita. 65% on Kenny. Doesn't matter. He's going to take that last stock. And St. Peter's down to their last three. The three stock lead from St. Peter's is completely... Come, uh, guys, can you just confirm that you can hear me right now? Uh, my cat just stepped stepped on my mic. Okay, cool. My cat just stepped on the cord, and it turned off my focus right for a second. But, but now, geez, uh, four stocks left for post. Entire stock lead for post right now. Turning this completely around. Kenny taking, oh my god, six stocks at this point. This is Kiwi. Hi, Kiwi. Say hi. You like stepping on things, don't you? Stop. She do, she wants down. <laughs> Did you hear the meow? She is a chaos baby. She's a... A chaos baby, but she's such a cute baby, though. Wow! So, so far, we've seen Hero and Byleth. Who do you think next? Who do you think's next, Kiwi? Who do you think's next? Now, ours is the same. You have the same kind of cat. Chaos Babies. Both of my cats are pretty loud. I have two cats. Only one's in here right now. At least I think. Unless the other one snuck in. Kiwi! Hi, baby. So, Kazuya. Kaz, Kazu, Kazu, Kazuha. Kazuha. Now, after my cat stepped on that, everything's like all weird in my headphones. It's fine though. As long as everything sounds good to you guys, I'm not going to worry about it. My bro's lizards fight our cat. Ooh. Lizard versus cat. Who wins? Probably cat, right? So now we're getting Luigi. Alright. So, Luigi against Snake is a really interesting matchup. Um, Snake doesn't like getting grabbed. When he's on the ground, he does not like getting grabbed. And Luigi... When he grabs you, get so much. Luigi is the best anime sword fighter. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a sword in uh, the Poltergeist. Pretty sure that's how it works. So, this the entire game right now that Kenny is really going to want to play is how far away can I stay from Luigi? Because the second Luigi gets in on Snake, it's tough. You, you want to take a little bit of damage um, from his aerials, and then, you know... Oh my god. You want to just make sure you can't get zero to death. That's like the big thing. Oh, that shield pressure is so strong. Up air strings. Kenny's got to get away from this. Popping grenades. I'm actually surprised we aren't seeing a lot more fireball coming out of Luigi. That was like the first time he started firing it off. And I think fireball is such a good tool on Snake. Kenny's doing a lot, just kind of staying above Luigi, and that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of where you want to be. The up air strings can be something a little hard to deal with, but I think I would rather deal with that than getting grabbed. 91% on Kenny, though. This is looking a little tough right now, but the, the only thing that matters is can Kenny survive? Can Kenny live? And considering a lot of Luigi's, like, options, he requires some sort of commitment. 
it's looking pretty decent for, for Kenny right now. The only thing is you have to avoid uh, Tornado. Oh, back air. Wow. Or that back air in the corner. That's going <laughs> to get Kenny right in the head. And that's going to even out the stocks right now. Putting Post down to three. All right. Now, one player left for Post for this round. And it's going to be a little bit of a doozy. Um, to be honest, Snake was probably the better option of the two uh, when it comes to fighting Luigi. Though I would say probably Samus is the best option for fighting a Luigi, um, personally. I think that's probably a little better. It's one of those things where if you are a character that relies on being on the ground a lot, you're going to struggle against Luigi. You, you just are. Um, one of those characters is Bowser. Uh, and considering great, you know, you know, maybe we, it depends. I would say, you know, all right, does Great have a lot of Luigi experience? Um, I'm not sure if he does. If he does, then he can make it work. Um, I feel like this is probably a losing matchup for, for Bowser, I would say. Um, if you can... If you can, bring Luigi to as many platforms as possible because that's going to benefit Bowser uh, with his side B anyway. So something like Battlefield. I don't know if I would do Kalos, even though Kalos is not a bad stage for Bowser. Uh, generally, though, I think I think Luigi would probably get more out of Kalos than Bowser would. Uh, you know, Hollow Bastion might be good. Um, Yoshi's Story probably would work okay. Uh, just don't... Try and avoid Final Destination, Town and City, Kalos... Um, those kind of stages, and you are generally okay, uh, probably. But here's the thing. This might also be something where Great might want to consider a character switch. I feel like this this matchup can be tough if he has to get in. Um, he Bowser will probably expose himself to some grabs. And But we are sticking with the Bowser, and let's see where we're going. We're going to PS2 right now. Not a bad pick. Um... Though, I will say that if a triplat would have been more beneficial. Even, or even that middle platform at the bottom. Oh, not able to get the follow-up put into the grab. Oh, here and here comes the zero to deaths. Does he know how to SDI out? That was a 90% combo on Bowser. Uh, and then we're going to get the tornado. No, opting for up B. And that is going to be a quick stop. <coughs> this is looking really tough for Great. Now, Great really needs to play outside the range right now. He cannot afford to lose another stock at this point. He needs to get some sort of, er if he can, an early kill. Oh, that upbeat's gonna get punished. And we're getting another string into the upbeat, and that is going to be another stock. With a all these Luigi combos, you need to be SDIing uh, to get out of them. That SDIing is the, pro the, the process of taking the stick and sh quickly shuffling it in the direction that you want to escape the combo from. Uh, Luigi is one of those characters where SDI very much matters. Nair into back air is going to get the stock. Only 5% on great. Let's see if he can actually get another stock super quickly, just like that one. Fair into grab. That's not going to be a true follow-up, apparently, at, this, at those low percents. 42% on Luigi. Ooh, going to get interrupted by, Na by Zare. Ooh, ju ooh, jump was taken, jump was taken. Early stock, only 27% on Bowser. This is primo right now. This is the this is where Bowser really can make some work happen. Though he needs to avoid all those tornadoes. 29%. Oh, tornado has that armor. It's not, you're not gonna be able to contest it in a lot of ways, gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna see an upbeat. Oh, going for the spike. Two spikes. Oh my God, what a combo potential. But the weak hit of upbeat is not gonna take it up. Bowser full, almost full rage on Bowser. What are we going to see? This is where Bowser can shine. Oh, getting the read right, but missing the landing. Fair, 76% on Luigi. Flame Breath, not able to get the connection. Fair, jump out, good, good jump out. Oh, he misses the tech, and oh, wow. Missing the tech, getting into the jab lock, into the F smash. Wow. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Put it, gonna put St. Peter's up 1-0. Now the round restarts. Can Post get the reset?
it's tough. When you're a character like Bowser, Luigi's combos are even more true. Um, Luigi as a character can be so tilting. I have I have thrown my controllers down and, and punched tables after fighting Luigi's. There's only two characters that really make me angry in this game. Like, not, not because, like, I don't think they're valid or anything like that. Just because I just personally get really frustrated when fighting them. And those two characters are Luigi and Zelda. Like, <laughs> they're not, like, the best characters in the game or anything. But fighting them, you have to utilize very specific strategies a lot of the time. Um, Luigi being, you stay the hell away from Luigi. You don't get anywhere near him. Um, and even then, a stray grab can just be death. Um, it's so frustrating sometimes. So if you're a character that really relies on close interactions, it can be extra tough. Now, if Post has to, you know, Post, that was a very interesting first round because there was a lot of push between the two. Now, Post, now, with Post had a, you know, kind of a rough start, losing three stocks early. It's kind of like the opposite of what we, what we usually see. Usually, BK is taking seven stocks at a time as a really solid starting player. Um, but this time, BK uh, kind of taking the opposite right now, we'll, we'll say. But I do think BK has a lot of value against a lot of the other characters off the start. Of of the three that we saw, I would say Hero is probably the the worst case situation for Samus. So I do think Samus finds a lot more value fighting a character like Luigi or Bylet. Um, so if you can rotate the characters, and this is, I think this is very smart. Uh, I know that the matchup right now, you're fighting a hero as Bowser, um, and in theory that doesn't sound great because he's a swordy with projectiles. Bowser probably wants to take it slow, but I actually think Bowser is best is actually pretty good for this matchup right here because I think run up shield is super strong, and Bowser already does it. Bowser already does that stuff. Nair into fair, going to up to getting the read on the hair touch for the grab. Up the 74% already on hero. This is already looking to be a very smart switch coming out of post. Up B to get the punish the roll. That's super strong. Uh, zoom. We're getting... Nope. Not able to read the return to stage. Wow, the back hit of fair. That was so weird. It's 41%. Oh my god. Reading the air dodge, which is a very interesting read. Up smash. Oh my god. The crit on up smash is so unfortunate. Jeez. Getting already an early stock on great. Down throw into up air. Whack. No. No, 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 no. That would have been so unlucky if that killed already. Good stall for the down B. For the down air. Drop zone back air. Air dodging back in. Be great time of trying to take it slow. Gonna get the punish that with a parry into back air. So good coming out from PK right now. Only 15%. And e either way, Bowser start only starts cooking when he gets to like 50, 60%. Nair. Gonna read that air dodge. Gonna get the fair. Oh, air dodging through that. Oh, we're gonna get some flame butt damage in, but you gotta be careful. Watch out for this for this buff right now. Into bounce. Ooh. Well, bounce only reflects neutral B, so it's fine. Oh my god, trying to get the roll read. Up B, 78%. Ooh, really good grab. Can BK take the stock? Going for the read on the up air? No, gonna wait it out a little bit. Good job of waiting snooze. Oh, that was such an interesting play. I really like that play, but isn't going to be worth it. Oh, in the early stock, though. It's going to get punished. Up smash. Not going to connect. 101 on hero, though. Oh, no. Jab. Really good side B. Not enough to kill, though. A little too low percent. 29 on Bowser, though. This is still very doable. Uh, that's not going to kill from the side, is it? Oh, it is. Uh, I think he could have DI'd that a little better, to be honest. Um, but, hey, Post takes that. One-to-one -one on stocks left. 59% on Bowser. Almost in rage territory where he actually begins stocks. Trying to get a lot of these roll reads, but they're not, like, working out a whole lot for great. 75%, 18 on Hero. Oh, the up hit of that smash is going to kill. Putting Post down to six stocks. And St. Peter's down to seven. 
Much stronger start for post, though, and I think that's the primary thing that is going to matter at this point. Um, so now, a, a lot of things can happen at this point. Um, <laughs> this, is a, this is actually a very interesting play. Post is still in the back foot right now, one stock behind. Stage list, pretty open. Um, you may really want to consider sending Kenny out at this point. I think Kenny should really play um, the hero matchup again. He did pretty well last time. You know, he did pretty decent. Um, and I think he can learn from what he did play last time. And I think you need BK as the counter a little bit right now. Um, last time... Last time BK got three stocked from this hero, there isn't there is a scenario where you send BK in and he gets he loses two stocks, and even that even then losing two stocks in this situation is devastating. Um, so I would probably send in Kenny at this point and leave BK to deal with a potential Luigi or whatever they counterpick with. And I think Samus as a character is very hard to counterpick. Um. Like, sure, you can definitely counterpick Samus. There's definitely characters that like, deal with Samus incredibly well. But I think that pool of characters is a lot... Sm is, is pretty small. Um, so you either fight Luigi, or you try and get counterpicked with something that you probably have a decent matchup against anyway. I think that's the way you go. Uh, but no, uh, actually, that's not how we're going. We are getting BK next. We are getting BK next. Um, I think BK really wants to run back against this hero. Now, if he can get first stock, perfect. That's all he needs. Um, so let's see if BK learned enough from his previous outing to get this stock first. But here's the thing. BK cannot get three stocked. If he gets three stocked, then three, you know, it's too go, devastating. I would say. Town and city, um, I mean... Honestly, the stage is probably a little better for Hero, to be honest. It's so wide, and the platforms turn to FD. It's so flat. Um, you have to be so careful with Kaboom and whatnot. And Reflect is going to do a decent job against Samus right now. Yeah. He's 96% already. Almost a zero to death. High recovery, fading back to platform. Low recovery. Good low recovery. Now... We are at a point where, where BK, I feel... Good, good grab. Very good grab. Good job grabbing the air dodge. High recovery. Gonna catch the landing with up air. Oh, that fair! Reading the roll out. Ooh. That was such an important fair for this hero right now. Good. Wow. Really good. Uh, oh, my God! He does it! Oh, BK! Oh, coming in clutch. We're getting that. Oh my God! Getting that landing on that platform on the side, so clutch. BK. Oh my God, BK, you're a legend. You're a legend for coming from so far behind. He was at like 80 percent on like zero, and he still won it. Oh, BK, you're a legend. Oh, that is so reassuring right now. That is such. That is so good. Mwah. So good. That's gonna put Saint. That's gonna put a tie. Saint Peter six to six. Oh, so good. So now we potentially get Byleth, and I think because I think five points played Byleth in the previous ones. Um, and I, uh, I mean, I personally think Samus wins this matchup. <coughs> um, I I think people give a little too much credit to Byleth sometimes, and I I know Byleth stocks ever since Leo kind of stopped playing Byleth. Sto those st Byleth stocks have kind of gone down. Uh, quite a bit, and people are starting to realize that Byleth has flaws. Um, but I always thought that Byleth, people gave Byleth a little too much credit. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to get proven wrong. I might get proven wrong. Who knows? But Byleth has pretty severe mobility options. Um, you know, weak like weaknesses. Relatively slow character. Can make up for it with a lot of the up B stuff and how they interact. Nair is such an, a strong move. Uh... But I think mobility is such a big player in this. And if you're not, like, a character like Steve who has so many, like, options to, like, get around that, I mean, your mobility just uh, kind of defines everything. If you can't, like, jump safely, especially a character like Samus who wants you to jump, 
what do you do? It, it what we're going to find out because, you know, there's always the chance of good footsies, good neutral as we start approaching these things. But I do think Samus is the stronger bet into this. ECAC stage list. Oh, we're getting the counter pick of some sort. Uh, who just joined the arena? Who knows? Uh, we're getting Corrin. Uh, I think Corrin's a much better choice against Samus right now. Uh, Corrin has such big swings with Nair. Better mobility. Um, and kind of ch a cheese factor, too. Much better option, I think, for this matchup. And we're kind of seeing it. Right now, BK really trying to slow it down. But Violet in hot pursuit every time. Going to get the grab into fair, but going to air dodge through it. I th I'm pretty sure that's not a true combo at zero. You need to do a little bit of damage first. 40% on BK. 23 on Corrin. Ooh. Oh, 59. Really good follow-ups from that little interaction on the ground. Dash not going to do some good angle work. Bomb is going to interrupt, but so is Corrin's neutral B. We're really seeing, right now, we're really seeing BK trying to, like, roll out of these situations. I would say BK n probably needs to roll a little less. He, he needs to, like, unstale that pretty swift, quickly. Oh, up smash. I'm gonna catch that landing. 149 on Corrin, though. This is prime kill percent for, for Samus. 99 on Samus, though. A lot of things on Corrin will kill now. A lot of things will kill. Pin is gonna be the big factor. Alright, 174. We just need one good grab and up smash. Oh, sorry. One good grab and up throw, not up smash. But up B is gonna be an option right there to take it. 109 on Samus, 0% on Corrin. Oh. Offstage interaction. Are we going to see some pin? No, we're going to see some F smash. Not enough to kill, though. The weak hit of F smash. There. <clears throat> Ooh, low profile in the back air. Back air is such a big move. Stuck in the corner, but 18%. If I would like to see 40% built up. Not going to get it, though. 18%. Zero on BK. Stocks are even. Good. Into grab. Up air. Not going to connect, though. I'm pretty sure you wanted fair. Ooh, that back air in the corner is going to be so tough to deal with. Mm, up tilt. Dash attack is going to tip him right off stage. Aggressive fair. Interesting counter. It's gonna work out. 81% on Corrin, 57 on BK. Now Corrin can get some cheesy kills though. So let's see if that comes in, into this. Up B. Uh, I think BK faded back a little too far. A little, I would like to see BK roll a little less, just a little bit. Oh, trying to get the roll read. See, he's trying to start getting the reads on BK for the roll. That's why BK really needs to pay attention when he's rolling. Very good stuff that he did not roll there, but that would have been really bad if that roll was he did. Reading the neutral getup, really smart. Down smash is going to take the stock, putting them, putting Corrin down to the last stock. Very good job not rolling at ledge. This is what I'm saying. The lack of roll is doing so good right now. Oh, but he rolled and the dash tech caught it. Generally, I, I would say when you're in shield, if you're you're a lot of time better off jumping. Um, but roll is still a viable option when it, if you're not doing it too much. It's like a more of a mix-up option, really. Back throw, offstage interaction. Can BK get the stock while holding on to these two? That's going to be very key. Up B going to get the anti-air going. 79% on core and 100 on BK. Double jump. Gonna catch the double jump landing with dash attack. Ooh. Trying to get bomb into fair, but kind of fairing a little too early. Back hit of Nair. Oh, trying to get the re roll read out of the corner. Not gonna get it, though. F smash gonna get punished with his own fair. 
Oh, that roll would have been... <coughs> if that roll was timed a little differently, that would have been so bad for BK. Dash second, send him right back off. Going for bombs. Oh, he be reversed. He be reversed the charge by accident. Oh, bomb that corner. Oh, not able to connect with the down touch. Invincibility is going to work so good for Corrin there. And there's not a whole lot of invincibility left. That was very lucky. Oh my god, that. Oh, uh, oh, he fell out of the projectile. Oh my god. Oh my god, BK should be dead so hard right now. He's gotten so lucky twice. Oh no! He he did, he saw the cheese happen. That was the one time he should have rolled. He clearly saw he clearly saw that F smash coming. It's either you roll or you do a get up attack. But down smash is going to take it, putting post down two, four stocks, and Saint Peter's down to three. Really strong showing from BK right now. Four stock le four stock streak coming out of him. BK really trying to reclaim his. Uh, stock supremacy in a lot of these. But can he deal with a potential Luigi? <clears throat> can he deal with a potential Luigi? I have a feeling we're not going to see Luigi, though. I really don't. This is looking really close. This is a very competitive set tonight. I'm all about this right now. Okay, now we're, we are getting the same player, of course, for Luigi. Now, BK, I'd probably ban every flat stage. Seriously. Um, Final Destination, Kalos, Town and City. Um, I think platforms will be BK's uh, best friend. Though at the same time, uh, I think it just really depends on how BK wants to play it and how he kind of anticipates this Luigi will play it. Um, I, I feel like if... Ugh, that's a tough one, because Luigi does have to jump if to, on an approach if he's on a flat stage, which gives Samus benefit. But I, th I, f I honestly think that <clears throat> the Luigi grab is too strong of a factor. Um, I, I think you want platforms to avoid Luigi grab as much as you can. I, I, I think you don't even risk it. But we are getting Luigi. We are getting Luigi. Let's see if BK can keep Luigi at bay long enough to get at least one stock. Three, we are getting PS2. I think this is a very fair stage go. to kind of go this ma to, into this matchup with. Now, I do think... BK should really play platform a decent amount. He does. He really does not want to get grabbed. I think he's doing a good job playing a distance. He is. He is on a deficit on percents, but he's doing a really good job fading in and out, trying to get a lot of these reads going. Going to grab forty percent. Really good stuff. Fifty-one percent. I would say BK needs to like get a, like another straight hit on himself to be out of percent. Oh no. Oh, very good air dodge. Okay, I think we're at safe percent now, where a lot of the combo stuff from grab art is not true. Um, oh, kind of aggressive coming back on the stage. I don't know how I feel about being aggressive, ag aggressive against Luigi coming back on stage. That's a very big risk. Good roll read. Hit, and if your combo's not true, you are going to get punished with by that Cyclone now. You have to know when your combos are true. Nice little recovery. Going to avoid that down air. Ooh, jab is going to miss. Oh, my God. So many misses. It's... So close. Uh, D.I. 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 Oh, D.I. is not going to matter. 
that kill is going to go down to the Luigi player, putting Post down to three. Uh, three stocks left. Now, I will say, I think BK played a lot of that very well. He was hovering platform a good amount, avoid getting enough percent on himself so that a lot of the grab stuff would not work anymore. Very smart. 22% is kind of a safe percent. You kind of start falling out of Luigi combos by that point in time. You can no longer get zero to death. Um, but what kind of happened a bit there, I, I think, by the second half, we saw a bit more too much of aggression coming out of BK, especially come, trying to get back to stage. I, I, I don't agree with that. I think with Luigi, you really need to wait for him to kind of... You know, he wants a couple things. And I think you wait it out. I really think you wait for Luigi to make some sort of mistake and then get a follow-up through, through from there. But we also saw a massive mistake when it came to uh, the follow-up from... I think it was a grab. I think he did down throw, and I, I think he wanted up air. Um, I could be wrong with what it was. But there was a point where... Uh, BK went for some sort of combo. It was not true. And if your combo is not true, Luigi's going to be mashing down B. I mean, it's an armor option. Uh, you know, it's going to be one of those things where it will just break your combo if it's not true. So you have to be always aware of that. One second, my cat is trying to get out. Sorry about that. And now we're getting Kenny against Luigi. I think this is a very you know, as I said before, Snake does not want to get grabbed by Luigi. So Kenny has a lot of work to do, but, oh no. No, here we go. Kenny really needs to play the away game. Like that's how he's gonna win this. Um, he can do some kind of boxing when it comes to these later percents. Oh, but really? It's a matter of getting Luigi off stage and then getting some sort of follow up off of it. No, this is so this is so this is so scary. Right now, Kenny's just in the corner. Does not want to be here right now. Kenny really does not want to be here, but he has no choice but to stay in the corner for a little bit. Oh my god, he dropped shield or he got shield poked by Dash Tech. That's so unfortunate. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Can he take it slow? I like see sometimes you need to play the corner as a character. And that's what I like about Kenny's play right now. Some character some players really like to like you know, you want to get you out of the corner, but some players panic getting out of the corner. And sometimes you just want to sit there, shield, uh kind of jump back in and out of the corner and then work your way in progressively. And Kenny's doing a good job of that right now. The stocks are very even not gonna be able to get the percent on the the, the punish on that because of the cross up. Kenny kinda panicked a little bit, dropped shield, and he got hit by the uh by the up smash. Putting post down in stocks. Oh no, the zero to death. Kenny was on the same plane of existence. Is was that a grenade getting him out? It was, if so, that was a really good grenade. Kenny has a lot of work to do right now. 75%. 124 on Luigi. I do like the patience coming out of Kenny right now. It's just it's from coming from behind, it's very tough. Oh my god! No way! Oh my god, what a follow-up! What a read! Putting Luigi three stocks ahead of uh, Snake's one against Kenny's one. Oh, Kenny. Oh, so unfortunate! Can you do it? Oh my god. And down air is going to solidify the stock. Okay, 18% on Snake right now. Can Kenny play the patient game? Can he do it? One stock left for post. Can he make this work? Up smash to cover a little bit of area, a little bit of delayed effect. I kind of like that up smash, to be honest. It was actually kind of nice. Up tilt, not going to be able to get the punish on the landing. Oh, back air, going to get punished with grenade. Kenny can't afford to really take a whole lot of percent, though. Snake from behind is tough, because Snake likes taking damage, but if he takes too much damage from behind, it's just going to work out of his favor. Though Snake does, can get rage pretty decently, since he's such a heavyweight.
Kenny is like trying so hard right now. <laughs> he's tr he's like trying to like patience, patience, patience. I <coughs> I can I can hear his brain thinking right now. <clears throat> no, not the C4 on yourself. No, that's so unfortunate. Oh, Kenny, you can do it. You can do it, Kenny. Kenny, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interest okay, interesting read on the jump. He's not going to get the punish on it, though. Okay. Grenades. And now Luigi, at this point, too, is can, can be patient. Uh, he can wait for Kenny to, like, really feed a lot of this percent. Because he has a, a stock to work with completely. I, I would say Kenny just does not have the, you know, the benefit of getting in. And I think Kenny's playing the matchup the best he can right now. I think this is the best case scenario. Oh my god, this is so unfortunate. Oh, not it! That would've, that would've been such a good up tilt punish. Though we are gonna get the stock with C4. 102 on Snake! Oh, he, Luigi's gonna start going in now. Cause he can afford to go in at these low percents. Oh my god. That up smash. No. Kenny, you cannot smash there. No. He probably wanted an F tilt. Oh, he's reading the roll in. And Kenny is. Wow, that was such a close match. But Post is going to lose it. Wow. Reading the roll with that up smash was so good. That was such an impressive match. Like, really. Like, po like seriously. That was such a good match between Post and St. Peter's. That I'm pretty sure both games were one stock apart. At the end, that was so good. Like my, my God, everybody played their hearts out. <laughs> like really, that was so close. Like geez, but that hey, St. Peter's is going to take it 2-0 over Post. Uh, I mean, hey, I'm wear, I'm gonna wear my uh, biases on my sleeve. I hate to see it because I love I love the Post guys. I want them to win. But that was such a good showing from everybody. I think everybody played super well in in this. Like really, like God. Um, <laughs> I actually really liked the, um, the character lineup switch coming out of Post for that. Um, it does appear that Post has a blind spot when it comes to Luigi players a little bit. Um, but, hey, I still say that was a super strong showing coming out of everybody. Um, really good. Jeez. I, I have so much fun when it's that close both times. Because you, you really like seeing the, the, you know the players coming in and like bringing what they learned from the previous one to just kind of adapt in that kind of tug of war scenario at the very end there. You, I love to see it so much. But this has been Post University versus St. Peter's Smash Ultimate ECAC Week 7. Post still has one more um, match to win uh, in order to get into playoffs. Now, uh, this might be their, I think this is their last chance next week. Uh, the best they can do is five and three now. Um, they need to win next week in order to ma re reach playoffs. So we'll see if Post can do it. I have faith that they can, especially going into you know I I I, am, I have a lot of faith that Post is going to make it. So, but we'll see. Post's last chance is next week uh, on Monday. We will see if they can do it. So I have been Frisco. Again, thank you to Post for having me. It's always my pleasure to do this, and I love you all. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.